Yes, sir. Big facts. Welcome to Pull Your Pants Up Radio. Biatch. Yo, man. So I'm looking at uh, Aki TV. And you know, I've been. He got this uh, Ishe commented. Commented on Tank. Ishe, a former Mayweather boxer. In the early days. This is what he says about Tank. He says, Tank is my guy. But at some point, if you're not fighting the fights the public wants to see and demand, they will lose interest in some fights. In you. That's what he should have said. So I'm going to say it for him. The public wants to see. If you're not fighting the fights the public wants to see and demand, they will lose interest in you. After Pitbull, they need to do a better job getting the right fights. You can blame Floyd and you can blame Tank for that. Tank is on par with with, with, with whatever Floyd set him up with. You know, Tank is down. Tank is leading the way. Down with whatever cherries Floyd got for him to pick. See, See, Tank Hart is never in it for the sport. Tank Hart is in it for the money. You know what I'm saying? And when you like that, you only going to go so far. and You only going to be so great. You know? And you're going to fall off hard. When you only thinking about the money and not the passion, you know, if it's just a passion for money, go do something else, bro. Go do something else. Because just like Floyd, you're going to start to ruin. Because Floyd, in a way, ruined. He, he's ruining this new age of boxing. Floyd is doing it. They Everybody's copying that Floyd model and is ruining boxing. That's why boxing in trouble now. You know what I'm saying? These guys don't want to fight each other. They think they're going to get a Floyd Pacquiao payday. You know? And that's how Floyd is molding these fighters. You know, uh, don't fight you. Don't fight each other in your prime. Let it build up and all this shit. And sooner or later, they ain't. Gonna, they gonna duck each other. They gonna duck and never fight each other. Seems like that's the situation with Haney and uh and Tank because Haney is steady moving up while Tank is steady staying stagnant. As far as weight is concerned. I don't, I'm not going to act like I'm an expert in boxing and these guys' records and who they fight and all that. But I, I'm, I am a good judge of character. And Tank's character is copying Money Mayweather. His whole state of being is on that Money Mayweather tip. And this is how he's choosing his opponents. Based on the Money Mayweather. Based on the Money Mayweather formula. And this formula is going to kill boxing, ladies and gentlemen. Because this is a selfish, self-interest way of playing the sport. And you're going to make your millions of dollars. Yeah, you might make your millions of dollars. But sooner or later, the jig is going to be up. People are going to get wise to what you're doing. Your cherry picking schemes. And people are not going to support you anymore. Tank. And anybody else who's follow, who follows this, this uh, 
so-called Mayweather blueprint. You know, it worked for it worked for Floyd. You know, because Floyd was the first to do it his way. You know, Floyd is a special fighter. Floyd is great, and Floyd still and Floyd cares about legacy. You know what I'm saying? Tank don't care about legacy. Tank care about money. That's all he care about. At least Floyd do care about his legacy. You know, as far as when he was Pretty Boy Floyd, as far as bo- as far as boxing is concerned, Floyd loves the sport. I give him that, and uh, I can understand why Floyd did what he did. You know, too many fighters out here risking their lives, getting brain damaged, and not having nothing to show for it at the end of the day. So I understand Floyd becoming Money Mayweather. But like I said, that's going to play out. That formula may have worked for Floyd, but it's going to play out with these boxers in their prime because the boxers in their prime copying an old Floyd Mayweather that was past his prime. And that's and, and the fans are not gonna put up with that. These uh, fighters in their prime, young fighters copying an old copying an old style, copying an, an old Money Mayweather type of uh, formula, because they should know better. You got Steven, you got Shakur Stevenson out here trying to box like Money Mayweather when he in his prime, when he should be boxing like. Pretty boy Floyd, he trying to box like Money Mayweather, um, and that and, and and fans not going for that, you know, and you got Tank, he out here choosing cherries like Money Mayweather, and fans are gonna get wise to that, you know, it is working up to now, Tank. One, but. That shit ends today. That the fans are wising up to what you're doing. And if you don't choose a high caliber opponent, your next fight, you they gonna turn on you, bro. Javante Tank Davis. They already don't like how quiet you are. This is the social media age. You don't have a personality. Uh, you delete and tweet. You tweet and delete. Uh, you don't stand on nothing. You don't stand on business. You ain't standing on business. You, you, you only you told us on the uh, on the uh, what the hundred thousand what, what them nigga hundred milli podcast with Gully. And his cousin, what is the cousin? They wallow. You told us you only care about money on on, on on the damn podcast, but you've been saying that, and people giving you a pass by it. People get letting you get away with that because you're a great knockout artist, artist, and you know. They want to see knockouts, and it, and a lot of and the people that you know, people giving you an excuse. Well, not people giving you a pass for now, but they gonna get impatient with you, cause they see what other boxers are do, boxers are doing. They see what Devin Haney is doing, and that's just putting more pressure on you, Tank. And you finna start getting booed, Tank. Yes, you are, bro. You fight Cruz again, motherfucker, you getting booed. You know what I'm saying? You getting booed. You going to fail in pay-per-view numbers. You know? Most of YouTube going to turn on you. You know? I already have. I, I, I'm a casual fan. 
But uh Tank showing up Tank 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 You know he he's showing us he's playing us and we're being fools to him to it. But it's time we wise up and stop being fools and demand this motherfucker get out here and fight Shakur Stevenson. Make that fucking fight. Get out here and fight Devin Haney. Go up to 140 and fight him. Here, you made Ryan. You know, your weight drained Ryan. Why can't you go up at 140? But if I'm not mistaken, Devin Haney team said, send them the same deal you sent Ryan. Send them the same deal you gave Ryan. And you still won't send it. So it smells like some pussy in this motherfucker. That's what it smells like. It smell like straight up pussy in this motherfucker. You know? If you won't send Devin Haney the same deal you made with Ryan, man, you pussy. If if Team Haney telling you to send that same deal, you won't send it, you pussy, man. Just it's plain and simple. And I and I and I don't I don't respect you no more. I don't respect you no more at all, bro. Cause you're a fraud. If you won't fight this man, Devin Haney. If you will not fight this dude, Devin Haney. If you will not send the same contract you sent Ryan Garcia to Devin Haney. And if Team Devin Haney is asking for that, you know they know. They know you pussy and scary anyway. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're not gonna. You're not going to not try to drain them. Drain Haney. So they say, okay, yeah, we know you're going to try to fuck us over. Just go ahead. We'll still beat your ass. Go ahead and send the contract. Get so, Go ahead, go ahead and send us the same shit you sent, Ryan, bro. We're still, we still got confident in our skills. We'll, we'll beat your ass. That's some motherfucking confidence, man, of Devin Haney. You know what I mean? Cause Ryan was crying all through the fight about how, you know how you, how you making him, how you draining him and all that. But Devin said, "Yeah, go ahead and send that. I'll take that." You know. And if you, you still won't send it, you still won't send that man. You a bitch, bro. You still won't send that man. You just a bitch. And people are gonna get. People like me, fan casual fans like me, are gonna turn on you, bro. They gonna see the bitch in you. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna like you no more. They ain't gonna, they gonna criticize you if they fight. If they do show up to your fights, they gonna criticize your ass in your face. Like Steven Jackson gonna criticize your ass in your face. He ain't gonna bite his tongue for you, bro. And a lot of other celebrities are gonna demand. That you fight the best, bruh. You, either you step up or retire, bruh. Because ain't nobody going to support you, bruh. I'm telling you. Either you step up and and fight the, the, the fights we want. The fight, step your game up, bruh. Or you might as well retire, man. You might as well fight. You know. You might as well just retire. Because... You gonna get booed up out the state. Nobody gonna fuck with Floyd. Nobody gonna fuck with what Floyd other boxers that's coming up. Because they gonna get hip to what Floyd doing and they not they not gonna support it. Floyd gotta do something different with the new talent. He gotta put him in there with he gotta put him in there with a black fighter. You know what I'm saying? He can't keep doing that same old... Res uh, he can't keep doing that same old... That same old... Uh, blueprint. Fight every Mexican. That's Money Mayweather. That ain't Floyd. That ain't sugar, Pretty Boy Floyd. That's Money Mayweather shit he putting on these new fighters. They're gonna run they're gonna end up running Floyd out of boxing, man. 
The fans going to end up running Floyd the fuck out of boxing. That's what they're going to do. Get his ass the fuck out of here. And take Tank with you. And take your blueprint with you, man. They're going to run your ass up out of there, Floyd. That's what they're going to do. You gonna, They're going to run you in the ground broke. People not gonna be people not gonna support this shit. That's why it's taking tank so long to choose an opponent. Them cherries are few. Few cherries left. That's people gonna go for that, that you gonna fool the people with. Step up or retire, bro. Step the fuck up or just retire, man. Cause your heart ain't in this shit. You only you only in it for the money. And that shit, and the fans ain't in it to make you money. Fans want to see a great fight. Fans ain't in it to make you motherfucking rich. Bitch. Fans just don't care about making you rich, nigga. You want to get, that's all, that's, that might be all you care about. But you got to please the fans at the same time. If you want that big money, bro. If you want that Manny Pacquiao money, that Floyd versus Manny money, you got to give the fans the demand of what they want to see. And you, like I said, you can fool some of the fans some of the time, but you can't fool the fans all the time. <coughs> you feel me? Uh-huh. You can't fool all the fans all the time. We wising up, you know. I, I you know, I, I'm a fan. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a tank casual fan, but like I said, I'm growing impatient. I'm start, I'm starting to get angry because they're making a fool out of us. They're trying to make a fool out of us, and it's, and it's looking like tank just a fucking fraud. Looking like he pussy, looking like he's scary, looking like he don't want to fight the tough fights. You got Isha Smith saying this some bullshit. And it's just going to get worse than that. That's just the beginning. Isha Smith, that's just the beginning. It's going to get worse than that. You're going to you, you gonna have, you gonna have diehard tank supporters. Celebrities start calling him out. It's going to get ugly for Tank, man, if he don't step it up. It's going to get real ugly for Tank. And that bank going to drop. That bank account going to drop if you don't step up, bro. You can't fool the fans, bro. You know what I'm saying? All the time. You can't fool them all the time. You know. You got your little money with Ryan, like I said before. You better be stepping it up. Because, uh, nobody going for your shit no more, bro. Nobody going for your shit. Nobody going for Floyd's shit. Prove you ain't the coward that people thinking you are now. That people starting to think you are. Prove you not that coward that people starting to think you are, Tank. Peace out.